test food for starch. Before we start our experiment to test the presence of starch in food, let us first understand what is starch. Starch is a complex carbohydrate present in the food we eat. Starch is odorless, tasteless and white in color. What are the major sources of starch? Major sources of starch are rice, corn, wheat and potatoes. Let us start our experiment to test the presence of starch in food. Take a small quantity of rice in a petri dish. Make a fine paste of the rice using water. Put the paste in a test tube. Add a few drops of iodine solution with the help of a dropper. What do you observe? The sample turns blue-black, which confirms the presence of starch in rice. Note, whenever starch reacts with iodine solution, it turns blue-black. Test food for protein. Before we start our experiment, to test food for protein, let us first understand what is protein. Proteins are large molecules consisting of amino acids which our body and the cells in our body require to function properly. Our body structure functions, regulations of the body cells, tissues and organs cannot exist without proteins. The muscles, the skin, the bones and many other parts of the human body contain significant amount of protein. In fact, protein accounts for 20% of the total body weight. What are the major sources of protein? The major sources of vegetable protein are soya bean, cereals, beans and groundnuts. Major sources of animal protein are egg, fish, meat and milk. Let us start our experiment to test the presence of protein in our food. Take a small quantity of mashed beans in a petri dish. Put it in a test tube and add some water. Add a few drops of copper sulfate solution to it with the help of a dropper. Then add a few drops of sodium hydroxide solution. What do you observe? The sample turns purple which confirms the presence of protein in the food sample. Note, whenever protein reacts with copper sulfate and sodium hydroxide solution, it turns purple. Test food for fat. Before we start our experiment to test food for fat, let us first understand what is fat. Fat is a nutrient essential for normal function of the body and living is not possible without it. Not only does fat supply us energy, it also makes it possible for other nutrients to do their jobs. What are the major sources of fat? The major sources of fat obtained from plants are 
mustard oil, coconut oil and dry fruits. Major sources of fat obtained from animals are butter, ghee and cheese. Let us start our experiment to test the presence of fat in food. Take a small quantity of dry fruits such as cashew nuts or almonds in a petri dish. Rub it on a clean white paper. You will observe oily patches on the paper. Hold the paper against the light to see the oily and translucent patch clearly. The fat present in the food sample is what makes the paper oily and translucent. Test food for sugar. Before we start our experiment to test food for sugar, let us first understand what is sugar. Sugar is the generalized name for sweet carbohydrates which are soluble in water. They are composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. What are the major sources of sugar? Major sources of sugar are fruits, milk, honey and jaggery. Let us start our experiment to test the presence of sugar in food. Take a small quantity of glucose in a test tube. Add a few drops of Benedict's solution. Heat the test tube in water bath. What do you observe? The sample turns orange which confirms the presence of sugar in the food sample. Note: Whenever sugar reacts with Benedict's solution, it turns orange 